Hello, I'm Brian Pearson, Managing Editor of the Tyler Morning Telegraph, and this is Christine Gardner, our esteemed food editor. <laughs> and uh, what are we going to talk about today? Well, remember last week we talked about our most useful kitchen yeah, I, tools? I, I failed in bringing my uh, you forgot. Assigned, the useless, of course, everything <laughs> in my hands in the kitchen becomes useless. Well, this week we're, we're talking about Last week was useful, this week is useless. Okay. And I heard from several readers about things that they like to use with cooking. And then, you know, some things that they've bought that they're like, why did I buy this? I never use it. Okay. So, do you have anything like that? You know, I can't ever seem to find a good can opener. I know. You, you know, like the ones yeah. that, that like cut around the outside. <laughs> It's like I have to go around it. I have to orbit the thing like 50 times before. Well, and I find that a lot of times those electric ones, they don't even work. Yeah, exactly. So I just have the little, you know, handy dandy, turn the wheel and open a can. Or better yet, you could grow your food and not have to use can. Exactly. And that brings us to what our feature story is this week. (laughs) Plant now, eat later. Okay. So I spent this weekend planting some vegetables. Okay. And I have a whole bunch of ant, ant bites to prove it. Really? <laughs> we need to work on the Maybe fire you ants. Get rid before of the fire we, ants before, before you put we stuff plant in the, the tomatoes. Yes. Yeah. So what all did you plant? So I planted tomatoes, bell mm-hmm. peppers, hot peppers, and I decided to try a couple of different things because you know it's it's just kind of fun to see. Oh, can I grow this? Or you know, if it doesn't work, that's okay. Okay. You know, but but there's something I don't know. You just feel empowered you're, to you're grow in, your own in touch food. With your inner agrarian, <laughs> and it's good to get out there and get your hands dirty. Exactly. And even if you don't have much space, you can still plant some herbs in in containers on your patio or in a bright window. So that's I'm going to give us a few tips on that and some good recipes that. And it, once the farmer's market's open and everything, we'll be eating all these fresh vegetables and fruits. So there'll be some recipes you can save for that. See, I uh, I did the smart thing and, and planted the weekend before the la- the last frost. Oh. So <laughs> oh, no. there were casualties. <laughs> I, I I planted some watermelon and cantaloupe, and yeah. they both died. I planted oh. three tomato plants, and they look like they died, but they've sort of come back. And then I had I think four, they're stronger than you think. Yes, yeah. they're like a weed. And and yeah. then, uh, I I planted four jalapeno plants and two of them died and I have since replaced those hey. and the cantaloupes and the watermelon. I've never grown watermelon and cantaloupe before. So. I did some cantaloupe last year and those turned out pretty well. I mean we had there was about three weeks there where we had more cantaloupe than we knew what to do with but you oh, know okay. then then you give them away to friends. So there's hope. For yes. Me that, that these <laughs> might grow. Okay so what else did you have to So also um, next Tuesday I'm doing an event with Stephen F. Austin in Nacogdoches. Mm -hmm. And what they're putting on, it's the students in the hospitality program. It's like Chopped on Food Network. And they're going to have several um, different little teams where they're going to have to have the mystery baskets of food and make up a dish on the spot that they're going to cook. And I'm going to be one of the judges along with a few other chefs in the area. You should get all the useless (laughs) kitchen items and make them use just those. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> that would, yeah, some different mystery tools, exactly. too. Exactly. <laughs> What's this thing? So do you have yeah. any on your list that you were going to share with us? Useless things? Oh, well, my main thing is probably I have pie shields and uh, cheesecloth and a bunch of baking things that I never use. So, okay. yeah, well, things like that. What else? But if people are interested in, in attending the Chopped event, it's open to the public. It's at the Fredonia in Nacogdoches on Tuesday. And if you go to um, Facebook, Christine Gardner, Tyler Paper Food, I'll have a link there of where people can get tickets. They cu- tickets are available until tomorrow. That sounds like fun. I think it's going to be a lot of fun because I love watching Chopped on Food Network. So okay. it'll, be, it'll be fun to see a live action of that. Okay. And yeah. uh, what's in the food page tomorrow? Plant now, oh. eat later. Anything else? Um, and the use, useless stuff. Okay. <laughs> well, pick up a copy of the paper. Are we done? We're done. We're done.